we've got Subramaniam Swami, Janata Party President, who's joining us live this morning. Mr. Swami, what are your, what's your first reaction? You're telling us that this will be seen as a precedent. Also, the fact that the earlier courts had said that these are powerful people who can actually influence witnesses is something that uh, seemed to have been ignored. Yeah. Well, you see, they are uh, clearly in all these matters, uh, there are two sides to the uh, arguments, but uh, ultimately it is the Supreme Court to decide. Uh, my own view was, although none of these people are in my case, my case only deals with politicians who are involved in the 2G uh, spectrum scam. This is, they are part of the CBI case. Uh, but nevertheless, my view was that these are very influential, powerful people and their employees will have to make uh, depose against them and if they are outside they are capable of uh, influencing, affecting, scaring the witnesses and therefore the best place for justice is that they should be inside. Now the Supreme Court must have its good reasons and uh, certainly I think these uh, uh, people who have come out uh, on bail uh, or coming out on bail they know that they are going to be watched very carefully as to what they do vis-a-vis uh, -vis -vis the witnesses. Uh, I think, however, uh, the Supreme Court is the final judge in all these matters and if they have decided that uh, they, 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 are, they should be given bail, uh, we all bow our heads to that. All right, Dilip, definitely coming for all those uh, five corporate leaders from the Supreme Court. Mr. Swami, you've been saying that uh, your case is against the politicians involved in the 2G scandal. We spoke to A. Raja's lawyer a short while back and he said there should be parity between all the accused. So definitely A. Raja would also likely to be uh, to sort of move uh, to, to move for bail considering the fact that he still hasn't uh, done that yet. Well, I think that, uh, no doubt about the fact that uh, the uh, all accused will claim that uh, they are also on the same uh, basis. So it depends on what the court has said. If the court has said the charges have been filed, the charges have been framed. Now there is no point in keeping them in jail. Uh, they are they are not uh, they are not uh, acquitting them. They are just telling them you can uh, be on bail and uh, be available to the police whenever they want. But the fact of the matter is, if, if they have said something else that these people are peripheral, they are not the ones who committed the crime but they only aided and abetted the crime and therefore they should be treated differently then of course Raja's and uh, Kanimori's case would be different. Right Mr. Swami, but don't you think a case can now be made out for bail for Kanimori and A. Raja as well? The only argument they can uh, make is if the court has taken the stand that this is because of the fact that uh, the charge sheets have been uh, filed and the charges have been framed. On that basis, if it is so, then naturally they would have a case. But unless I see the order on what basis they have uh, done this, uh, 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 it's not possible for me to infer from that that this will also mean that Raja and Kanimuri will get blamed. Right, Mr. Swami, but are you saying that you're going to fight against that move if the matter does come up in court, if, if A. Raja does apply as for bail? As I, told you, as I told you that my case deals with politicians, if the matter of uh, uh, Raja and uh, I think it's, it's already been decided, it's now in the higher courts, uh, it's for the higher courts to decide. Uh, I don't think that I should uh, devote my atten attention to keeping people in jail. That is for the courts to do. They are already in jail. The courts want to free them. There's the CBI is arguing them. They are, these politicians also happen to be in the CBI case. Uh, and there's a very competent counsel for the CBI, name is Mr. Lalit. So if uh, despite their arguments, the court decides, then it's the wisdom of the court. I come into the only in the picture that now where those who should have been made accused have not been made accused and therefore should be made accused that I am in uh, using my complaint case on that basis and I'm working on that. Uh, as far as bail matter is concerned, none of them uh, were put in jail because of my case. Uh, my case hasn't reached that stage because I'm still in the process of adding accused to Mr. Raja in addition to Mr. Raja. And uh, it will have to be decided uh, by the uh, courts on the basis of the CBI case. But as I say, it is ultimately the courts to decide. My own view was that they should not be let out. All right, uh, Mr. Subramaniam Swami, thank you so much for giving us uh, your views on that story.